Well, let's talk about the big thing that, um, obviously I'm slightly responsible for. We got a, uh, we got an updated player list to our Mortal Kombat tournament. And if you don't know what the hell our Mortal Kombat tournament is, we're hosting a Mortal Kombat 10 tournament, MKX, uh, through Twitch Rivals in the same fashion of our Killer Instinct and Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tournament. And a lot of people might ask, why Killer Instinct and Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Ultimate Marvel 3 and Mortal Kombat X, why would you do that? Because I want to. Luckily, there is a uh, large group of extremely talented people at Twitch that are willing to give me the resources to host Twitch Rivals events uh, just to make me happy. If I wanted to have a tournament of some kind, in what way would you like to have that tournament? And that has been the KI event, the Ultimate Marvel 3 event, and now it is going to be an MKX event. So, with that being said, I'm very lucky to be accompanied by um, some extremely proficient tournament organizers as well as uh, tournament experts. This event is going to be commentated by Ketchup and Mustard, which is great, and I got to immediately start consulting a lot of folks that are at the, uh, the, the highlight of NRS competitive to be like, who would be the best people to show up to this tournament? And I had a couple of my suggestions. Unfortunately, my suggestions could not actually make it. So I did not, the, the, only, the only suggestions are absolutely Kenny and Steve, because when Kenny and Steve play MKX, they get some of the best viewership <laughs> of anybody that streams Mortal Kombat. It's crazy. And a lot of other people that are influenced, if not have played Mortal Kombat, if not are big Mortal Kombat X fans, that was the point. I wanted to get as many people in this shit that love MKX. And a lot of people would be like, where's this person? Where's that person? Trust me, a lot of invites went out. A lot of people couldn't make it because this is going to be on a Saturday. But all things considered for the people that could actually make it for this, uh, I think there are definitely a huge amount of names and definite associations with MKX that you remember that are going to be like, damn, this is going to set up for some pretty cool matches. So I'm super happy about this, man. I think the whole gimmick of my tournaments is that I would like to fill this with as many people that just love the games as possible. I'm already looking at a couple of names in here that immediately go, holy crap, dude, if these guys made it the bracket, <laughs> like, if these guys somehow make it through first round, right? If this somehow happens, then there's a chance that we had a, there was, there was a, an entire like hour of me and like Rick and ketchup and mustard on a, on a, on a pre-call talking about this, just like, so wait a minute, what are the chances of this happening? Maybe this could, man, if this happens here, like, oh my God, like we were just like talking about how many chances of people running into certain people is gonna be. So um, we're very excited because Mortal Kombat X especially has, a ridiculous amount of competitive NRS scene legacy, right? Like things that you will never forget in the tournament circuit in competitive MK. So many moments were absolutely birthed from the sinew of competitive Mortal Kombat and that game was MKX. So all things considered. I didn't get every single person that I would like to on here because the scheduling of the tournament is very specific this time. There was no way I was gonna have this tournament without ketchup and mustard commentating. Um, I think I'm actually going to join them every once in a while in this thing and actually do some commentary with them, but not to the same degree as the Killer Instinct tournament. So if you guys are kind of curious how this is going to work, I will not be the one on comms the whole time or most of the time like KI. Uh, it'll mostly be like a uh, KSD Steven Yipe situation with Marvel 3 where I, I just want to hear I just want to hear ketchup and mustard commentating this stuff the same way that I remember them commentating MKX back in like 2015, 2016. I just want to go back to that, you know? Will there be skits though? Great question. No, there will not be skits. Um, we will not have a, Jason's not going to show up and we're not going to tie him to a chair with Dreamcast controllers. We're not going to uh, show up at Lost World's laser tag and uh, hunt down the alien. Unfortunately, no. However, we do have um, a pretty good announcement. This hasn't been announced yet, chat. As well as getting as many people that you remember with these games and it sort of being a celebration of this game, this old dead game, right? I kind of want it to be a celebration of not just the competitive element, but of the game itself, right? So we can sort of cherish the things that made this game so great back when you remember it being great. So with that being said, we have been working with Esteban 
who did the Killer Instinct documentary that you might remember from the KI tournament. And he did some unique KI stuff that was specific and only shown at the KI event. So we got to working with the dude again. And believe it or not, we are going to have a mini documentary, not just about specifically Mortal Kombat, with Ed Boon and the NRS devs, with actual people that worked on MKX, we are going to specifically have a documentary that is featuring Mortal Kombat X. It's not gonna be about 25 plus years of Mortal Kombat, no. This is going to be specifically all the crazy challenges that NRS took on when making this game and how crazy of a development MKX was between its guest characters, between it getting rollback netcode and so many more things that it it feels like the devs were sort of itching to talk about this because by the time mkx came out it sort of went through its development cycle and they had moved had to move on to injustice too they were on that really rigorous two-year cycle where their games were just like bam 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 and they came out and it didn't really feel like they had a moment to lament on how crazy mkx was how how they were able to do things in this game that they probably were never ready for this is a game that features, God, how many characters are in this? Like 34? Uh, somebody give me the actual final character roster in this. This is a fighting game that isn't just 30 plus characters. It isn't. This is a fighting game that has three characters for every single character is in it. So you can practically take the full roster count and times it by three and that is how many characters are in this game. The variation system in this shit is nuts. So long story short, um, 33 characters. Yeah, they, they made like 99 characters for this shit. And in some situations, some variations had four different versions of characters. When you hear of like competitive elements of this game, you hear about uh, Forever King playing like uh, a, a character like Predator, or you hear about like Sonic Fox playing someone you remember like Aaron Black. You usually don't remember them just playing Aaron Black. You actually remember them playing a specific variation of that character. It's like each individual variation is its own character. Triborg is the best example. There's no Triborg players. No, no, no. There is no Triborg players. There is Smoke players. There is Sector players. There's Cyrax players. And every once in a while, there's a Cyber Sub-Zero, right? That's what's so crazy about this game. Even though, yeah, some variations aren't all completely playable, right? Some, some are clearly better than others, and some are like the worst in the game. But that's the thing is that even on the highest tier, it isn't just Aaron Black that is the highest tier, it's one version of that character. I'm not saying Aaron Black is high tier. If there's a character that's bad, it's not just that character that's bad, it's one version of the character that's bad because every character is different. That's incredible to me, right? That's fucking insane. I've been playing Takeda in this game off and on for six friggin' years, and I don't even know what the hell Lasher does. I play this character, and I don't even know what the hell Lasher does. I know it's not as good, but it's a unique, completely different play style of a character that I've been playing off and on for how long? So I would just love the devs. I want to hear about that, man. I want to hear about all the crazy challenges that they sort of took on. The balancing challenges, figuring out like, okay, so clearly the game is getting out of control already. In what way do we get things in control? Oh God, it's out of control again. Okay, try to get it back in control. Oh God, it's out of control again. Let's just leave it out of control, you know? So we're going to hear the devs talk about that. We're going to hear Ed Boone talk about it. I think this game probably means a lot to the devs of the game because they made Alien versus Predator happen. They made... Uh, they, they got so many things in here to take place and actually go off without a hitch that is just insane from a development perspective. So we get, we get to hear about that from the devs specifically in a documentary style format. So in between the tournament, you guys are going to be seeing those in the same exact way that you saw with uh, KI. They're going to be sprinkled throughout our event and uh, until the very end of the tournament. So it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys are cool with the uh, the viewers on this. The best part about the Twitch Rivals and its integration is the fact that this tournament in every single facet will be streamed. Every single match, every single thing, whether it's on my stream, whether or not it's one of these folks that are competing, you can go to their stream if you just want to watch, you know, Samij play or you just want to watch Kenny play, right? Doesn't matter. They will all be integrated through the Twitch Rivals program, and you can just click on their name and bam, you can watch them play whatever matches they're in. Dope. Or you can watch the showcase matches, which are gonna be on my channel. But that's not all! 
That's not all. It's not even. Here's the coolest part. We only have 31 players. One of the best ideas that was presented to me was the fact that the final spot in this tournament, the last person that will be making it into this is not an influencer, is not a Mortal Kombat content creator, and is not a top player. I am so happy to announce that the last person that will be making it into this tournament is going to be any one of you. I got told this term recently, a necro, a necro MKX player. You're just been playing this dead ass game and you are just godlike at it. You've been playing this game for six years? There is going to be an open qualifier on Mr. Aquaman's channel on Saturday. It is an open tournament, open bracket that is going to whittle that entire thing down to one person. And that person takes the final spot. Sick. <laughs> that is such, and I'm like, oh man, are we gonna have to do all this crazy stuff for it? And apparently Aquaman is just like, yeah, I have the Coliseum, let's do it. You know, this is a last chance qualifier where the last person is going to be a necro Mortal Kombat player. Just one of these dudes that has been playing this game for 30,000 matches over the past six years and is ready to fucking go. I love it. I love it. I'm super, I'm super excited about that. That's going to be taking place on Monday at uh, noon Pacific. Please join us. If, you, if you're working, you can catch the VOD. I'll make sure it's up here. Aquaman's tournament is going to be taking place on his channel. This is the event for you. This is the event for you right here. You are ready to go. Is there a prize? There is a prize. The actual prizing uh, information has not been made uh, public yet. I think Twitch is still getting that stuff ready. But yes, this isn't just for the fun of it. The, there has been prizing for our previous Rivals tournaments and that will be uh, revealed soon. That's the last big surprise for our Mortal Kombat event. I can't wait. Um, this is easily probably one of my favorite fighting games of the past decade. Uh, MKX to me is my favorite NRS made fighting game. And that is what my tournament is going to be. In the same way that our KI and Marvel 3 tournament was, a celebration of this game and all the crazy unique aspects that makes it what it is.